Hello, I'm Alia Goff with Rising Moon Adventures. Welcome to Primary Insights for Come Follow Me. Today's story is about Nehemiah. And the script that I'm using comes from a portion of Elder Uchtdorf's talk, We Are Doing a Great Work and We Cannot Come Down. The images that I'm using come from my Old Testament Come Follow Me manual kit. Nehemiah. Nehemiah of the Old Testament is a great example of staying focused and committed to an important task. Nehemiah was an Israelite who lived in exile in Babylon and served as a cupbearer under the king. One day, the king asked Nehemiah why he looked so sad. Nehemiah replied, Why should not my countenance be sad when the city the place of my father's graves lieth in waste and the gates thereof are consumed with fire. When the king heard this, his heart was softened, and he gave Nehemiah the authority to return to Jerusalem and rebuild the city. However, not everyone wanted the city to be rebuilt. They were not happy with his plan. In fact, several rulers who lived near Jerusalem grieved exceedingly that there were some that there was come a man to seek the welfare of the children of Israel. These men took great indignation and mocked the Jews. Fearless, Nehemiah did not allow the opposition to distract him. Instead, he organized his resources and manpower and moved forward in rebuilding the city. For the people had a mind to work. But as the walls of the city began to rise, the opposition intensified. Nehemiah's enemies threatened, conspired, and ridiculed. Their threats were very real and they grew so intimidating that Nehemiah confessed, they all made us afraid. In spite of the danger and ever-present threat of invasion, the work progressed. It was a time of stress for every builder had his sword girded by his side and so builded. As the work continued, Nehemiah's enemies became more desperate. Four times they entreated him to leave the safety of the city and meet with them under the pretense of resolving the conflict. But Nehemiah knew that their intent was to do him harm. Each time they approached him, he responded with the same answer. I am doing a great work so that I cannot come down. What a remarkable response. With that clear and unchanging purpose of heart and mind, with that great resolve, the walls of Jerusalem rose until they were rebuilt in an astonishing 52 days. Nehemiah refused to allow distractions to prevent him from doing what the Lord wanted him to do. Nehemiah is a wonderful example for each of us. There are things that are important for us to do in this life. There are things our Heavenly Father wants us to do. And if we can be like Nehemiah and not be distracted by the other things that want us not to do those good works, then we will please the Lord just like Nehemiah did. Aliyah Goff, signing off. Get hope, get Christ, get anchored.